Are you tired of comparing yourself to others and feeling inadequate or unsatisfied as a result? It's time to stop the cycle of social comparison and focus on your own personal growth and happiness. By practicing gratitude, mindfulness, and self-compassion, you can break free from the negative effects of social comparison and start living a more fulfilling and meaningful life. So why not give it a try and start living your best life today? We'll be right back after this short break. All right, so what is social comparison? Well, social comparison is the act of evaluating one's own abilities, beliefs, and opinions by comparing oneself to others. This can happen consciously or unconsciously, and it is a common way that people determine their own self-worth. Social comparison can be helpful in some situations, such as when it helps us to gauge our own performance and improve our skills. However, it can also be damaging if it leads to negative self-evaluation or unrealistic expectations. So now let's define downward social comparison and upward social comparison, and I'll provide examples of each. All right, so the first one, downward social comparison. This occurs when an individual compares themselves to someone who is worse off than they are in some way. This type of comparison can make a person feel better about themselves and their own abilities or circumstances. For example, if a person is feeling insecure about their intelligence, they might compare themselves to someone who they perceive as less intelligent, which can make them feel better about their own intelligence. All right, now let's look at upward social comparison. So upward social comparison, on the other hand, occurs when an individual compares themselves to someone who is better off than they are in some way. This type of comparison can be motivating as it can inspire a person to work harder and improve their abilities in order to reach the same level of success or achievement as the person they are comparing themselves to. However, it can also lead to feelings of inadequacy or disappointment if the individual feels that they are unable to meet the standards set by the person that they are comparing themselves to. For example, if a person is feeling insecure about their athletic abilities, they might compare themselves to a professional athlete and feel discouraged if they are unable to match the athlete's level of performance. There are several strategies that a person can use to stop engaging in downward and upward social comparison. Focus on personal growth and self-improvement. Instead of comparing yourself to others, focus on setting personal goals and working toward achieving them. This can help to shift the focus away from social comparison and onto personal development. For example, if you want to improve your fitness level, set a goal to exercise three times a week and track your progress. Practice gratitude. Each day, take a few minutes to focus on the things that you are grateful for. This can help to shift your focus away from social comparison and onto the positive aspects of your own life. For example, you might be grateful for your health, for your friends, or for your job. Be mindful of thoughts and emotions. Pay attention to the thoughts and emotions that arise while engaging in social comparison and try to recognize when these thoughts are unhelpful or damaging. This can help to identify and challenge negative thought patterns that lead to social comparison. For example, if you catch yourself comparing yourself to someone who is more successful than you, take a moment to recognize and challenge the negative thoughts that are driving the comparison. Develop self-compassion. Treating oneself with kindness and understanding can help reduce the need for social comparison in the first place. Instead of comparing oneself to others, focus on being kind and compassionate towards oneself. This can help to reduce the need for social comparison and increase your sense of self-worth and happiness. For example, if you make a mistake or fail at something, remind yourself that everyone makes mistakes and it's okay to not be perfect. Perfect doesn't exist. 
surround yourself with positive influences. So seek out and surround yourself with people who are supportive and encouraging. That can help to reduce the need for social comparison as well. These people can provide a positive influence and help to build self-esteem and confidence, which can reduce the temptation to engage in social comparison. For example, you might join a support group or find a mentor, or you might join an online community such as my own, Exploring Academy, where you can get guidance and encouragement. So how does social media affect social comparison? And will avoiding it help? Avoiding social media can be a helpful strategy for reducing the temptation to engage in social comparison. Social media can be a common source of social comparison as it often presents a highly curated and idealized version of people's lives. By avoiding social media, an individual can reduce their exposure to these types of comparisons and focus instead on their own life and their own goals. However, it is important to note that avoiding social media altogether may not be practical or desirable for everyone. For some people, social media can be a valuable source of social connection and support. In these cases, it may be more helpful to try to practice mindfulness and self-compassion when using social media and use it deliberately rather than avoiding it altogether. So are you ready to put this all into practice? Well, I have a quest for you to complete, which is something that you'll get if you are a member of my private community, Exploring Academy. So if you'd like this quest, the discussion that goes along with it, an opportunity to submit questions or ask me live and engage with the community as well, then you can sign up for Exploring Academy using the link below. I hope to see you there. So in conclusion, social comparison can be damaging to our mental health and our well-being. By practicing gratitude, mindfulness, self-compassion, and surrounding ourselves with positive influences, we can break free from the negative effects of social comparison and focus on our own personal growth and happiness. So why not take the first step today and start living your best life free from the burden of constant comparison? You deserve it. All right, Explorers, thank you so much for joining me for this lesson and for spending some time with me here today. If you enjoyed this lesson, feel free to show it some love on the YouTube channel, on our podcast, on Spotify, and wherever else you listen to your podcasts, and also on our website. And feel free to share those resources with people who want to upgrade their social skills, improve their communication skills and confidence, and be on the path to social fluency. All right, I will see you in the next one. Happy learning, everyone. Bye.